light can turn the world upside down. Cause there is no peace until you come back, Jesus. Until you return, 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 return. Amen. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for this house. We thank you for the leadership over this house. We give you all the glory and honor and praise, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for awakening house of prayer, for what this, for, for what you're doing through this church, for what you're doing through this ministry, for what you're doing through Jennifer LeClaire Ministries. We just thank you, Lord. We give you honor and we praise you, Lord. We bless Apostle Jennifer right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We ask that you just surround her with your, your angelic host, Lord. Just continue to pour into her, to impart to her, to download to her in the spirit, Lord. We just thank you for all that's coming out of Apostle Jennifer, Lord, because, Lord, it, you've, you're the one who's behind it. You're the one who's inspiring her, Lord. So we just give you glory, honor, and praise, Father God, for not only what you're doing in this house, but what you're doing through Apostle Jennifer, what you're doing through Jennifer Claire Ministries. Father God, we thank you for all of the equipping, all of the books that come forward in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for all the ministries associated with, with Awakening House of Prayer, Lord. We thank you for the deliverance rooms, for prophecy rooms, for healing rooms, Lord. We thank you for all of the equipping that goes forth out of this house and through Jennifer LeClaire Ministries, Father God. So, Lord, we just cut, we just lift up every Awakening of Prayer Hub leader to you right now in the name of Jesus. We ask you to bless them, Lord. We ask you to encourage them, Father God, give them the strength to keep on, to, to press to press through, Lord, all of the opposition that might be coming to them, Lord. We ask, Father God, that you just surround them with your love, surround them with your peace, with your glory, Father God. Fill them up so that they can keep on, Lord, because we know we need more intercession going forward in this day, Lord, in this, in this season that we're in, Father God. And right now, we just call forth all of the intercessors all over the world all over the world on this map. We call them forth right now in the name of Jesus. We say come out of their caves, come out of their caves to, to come together and pray because our collective prayers are powerful, Lord. So we just thank you for each and every intercessor that you're, you're luring out of their cave, Father God, to, to just connect with other intercessors, to come together and to pray, to be unified in prayer, Father God. We thank you for these watchmen on the wall, Father God. We thank you that you're just putting on their spirits when to sound the alarm, when to pray into a thing, when to sound the alarm, Father God. Help us to be so discerning in this hour, Lord, as we need discernment, Lord. Lord, we ask for increased measure of wisdom, increased measure of, of knowledge, Father God. Lord, just to help us help us to just press in, Father God, to receive more of you, Lord, to go deeper in you, Lord. Jesus, we ask that we have your heart, Lord. Give us your heart, Father God. Show us what's on your heart that you would have us to pray into, Father God. Help us to keep plowing and pressing in prayer and not give up, Lord. Help us to not grow weary and well-doing, Lord, but know that you are with us, that you are leading us, Holy Spirit, that you are guiding us, that we are being led by your Spirit, Father God. So, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the stirring in our spirits to come together in prayer, to just lock shields together in prayer to put our petitions before you, to make declarations in the spirit. Lord, we thank you that our prayers are powerful, that they are literally shifting things in the spirit as we are praying tonight, Father God. We thank you for each and every one, Lord, all of those who are watching online. We bless you as well in the name of Jesus. We bless your households. We bless everything that you put your hand to in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing through Awakening House of Prayer and Apostle Jennifer, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that our bodies are healed and whole in the name of Jesus, that COVID cannot touch us, that no virus can touch us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that we can say that whatever virus or bacteria may come in contact with our bodies, with our blood, Lord, that it is they are just engulfed and removed from our systems in the name of Jesus, that they cannot survive or thrive in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that we have this authority, Lord, that we can say this, Lord, that we know that we are healed. And we just say right now that our bodies, our immune systems are whole, that our immune systems are strong, that our immune systems are working exactly, Lord, the way you intended it to. So, Lord, we come against any and all viruses right now in Jesus' name, any and all bacterias in the name of Jesus, Lord. We come against them now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that we could stand on this promise, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we could stand firm in, in, in your promises, Father God. 
that we can look to you, knowing that you are in control, Father, that you are making all things good in the name of Jesus, that you are turning things around in our favor in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that we could come forward and we could just profess this, we can confess this now in Jesus' name when all the chaos is going on around us, when everything looks dark and, and, and gloom, Father God. We can stand firm in you knowing, Lord, that you are making a way, that you are, that, that, that a light's going to shine in the midst of all of it, Father God, and that we will give you all glory, that we can, will continue to lift your name up and praise you, Father God. Lord, you, you've pulled us out of situations in the past, and we know, Lord, that you will do it again and again and again. So, Lord, we ask that you increase our faith in this hour, in Jesus' name, that you increase us, you increase our faith right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Help us to be so sensitive to your spirit, Father God, that we are led by you, Lord. Help us to not be swayed or, or convinced by any of the enemy's tactics, Father God. But we thank you, Lord, that in, that in this time, we our discernment is increasing in the name of Jesus. Our discernment is increasing in the name of Jesus. And our discernment is increasing in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you that our eyes are open, our ears are open, and our hearts are ready to receive all that you have for us, Father God. Help us to be so still that we hear your still, small voice. Help us to be still in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the chaos. Help us to be still, be focused on you, Lord, because you are speaking. You are speaking. You are always speaking to us, Lord. Help us to help us to know that. Help us to look for you, Father God. Help us to be still just long enough to even hear you, Father God. Jesus, we just thank you. We thank you for what you're doing in this country, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are in control, that you are still on the throne, Lord, that you are in control of the elections, Father God. We just lift up um, President Trump to you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. We lift up, we lift him up, we lift up his family in Jesus' name, Lord. We ask that you strengthen him, that you strengthen his family, Lord, that you, that he is, he is just sensitive to your spirit, Lord, that you surround him with wise counsel in the name of Jesus, that those who are surrounding and advising him, Lord, are, are speaking what you're speaking through them, Father God, are speaking your will, Father God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for what you are doing, and we just praise you, Father God, knowing that you already know the outcome, Father. You know how this is going to go, Lord. It's no surprise to you, Father God. So help us to rest assured in you, Lord. Rest in you, knowing that you are in control, but help us to not just sit back and not, 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 to put our petitions before you and not pray, Lord, not not seek you day and night, night and day, Lord. Help us to be ones who are so sensitive to your spirit, even while we're sleeping, Lord, that if you're nudging us to wake up and intercede, whether we know who it's for or, or it's whoever it is, Lord, help us to just do it, Lord. Help us to be diligent. Help us to be just submit, so submitted to you, Lord, that we will do whatever it is you would have us to do, Lord. Help us to not be led by our emotions. Help us to not be led by our, our feelings, our desires, our wants. Help us to not be led by our flesh, Father God, but help us to be led by your spirit and your spirit alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Return, return. Jesus, please come back. For creation's groaning and waiting, waiting, groaning, and groaning, waiting, and waiting, and groaning, and groaning, and waiting. For your return You're the only man of peace that we want You're the only king that we cry So come again
you, Lord, and we thank you, Father, for this day, O oh God, that you have given us, Lord. We praise you, Father, and we say this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, Father. Father, we're just thankful, Lord, that we can come before your presence, Lord. Father, whenever we make the time, Lord, Father, that we can just come before you, Lord, and lift up our voices to you, Lord, and that you will hear us, O oh God. Father, you will answer us, Lord, for you're always attentive to the sound of our voice, O oh God. And when we come to you, Lord, with our petitions, Lord, you listen, Father. But, Lord, we just want to praise you, Father. It's not always about coming before you, Lord, and asking for this or that, Lord. But, Father, we just want to come before you and enter your gates with thanksgiving in our heart and in your courts with praise, Father. We lift you up. We exalt you, Lord, because you are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. You are worthy. You are a holy God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And we praise you, Father. And we thank you, Lord. And, Father, we just ask, O oh God, that you would move upon the hearts of your people, Lord, the hearts of your people everywhere, Lord, the church universal, Lord, across this land, O oh God, across this nation, Father, and across this planet, O oh God. Move upon your people, Lord. Bring a unity, Father, among your people, O oh God, that people would come together and look at what we have in common and not our differences, Lord. Concentrate on those things, Father, that we worship the true and the living God, that we can come together and we can worship you together, Father, and we can work together and lift up your name, Father, in one voice, O oh God, as one people, the one people that you've called us to be, O oh God. Help us, Lord, Father, just to become a single voice, Lord, for your kingdom, O oh God, lifting up the name of Jesus Christ wherever we go. And, Lord, sharing it amongst those that don't know you, Father. Have your way, Lord, have your way. Father, just help us, Lord, to walk in unity, to walk in peace with our brothers and sisters. And, Lord, just to show the love of the Father to each and every one. Father, we praise you, Lord. We praise your name, Father. We thank you, Lord, for that great love that you've shed upon us, O oh God, the love that compelled you to step out of heaven and to walk on this earth among your people, Father, even though they denied you, they ignored you, they spit upon you, they abused you. Father, you walked among them, Lord, and you told them the truth. You showed them the way, Lord. 
And Father, we thank you, Lord, that you bore our sins on the cross when you gave your life. But you not only laid down your life for our sins, you took it up again. You rose from the dead, and you made the way that we can approach the throne. And we thank you, Father, that the veil was torn in two from top to bottom. And that veil is no longer a hindrance, Father. We have an open door to your very throne. We thank you, Father, for that love, that love that we can't fully understand, Father, while we're in our human bodies, Father, but we can experience, Father, the love that you have, Father, because you have shed your love abroad in our hearts, Lord. We thank you, Father, and we praise you, Lord. We exalt you, Father. Lord, we just ask, Father, that you would continue, Lord, to repair our economy, Father, that's been devastated, Lord, by this virus, Lord. Father, there was good news from the jobs that were created. In the last month, Lord, Father, we ask and we decree, O oh God, that it continues to improve, O oh God, that people can get back to work and they can get back to the jobs they had or, or find other jobs, Lord, but they can become the provider for themselves and for their families, Lord. Father, just open the door, Father, and just open businesses back up, Lord, and, and put in the hearts of your people new businesses, Father that they can start, oh God, and they can help this economy get back to where it needs to be. And, and we just decree it will come back stronger than what it was. For what the enemy means for evil, you will turn to good, Father. And we praise you, Lord, and we thank you, Father. Have your way, Lord, in our lives. Just draw us closer to you, Father. And, Father, we say the United States will be saved. Draw a people's heart to you, Father, in this nation. And in this state of Florida, Lord, as the forerunner state, O oh God, awaken a people, Lord. Awaken us, Father, to be about our Heavenly Father's business. Bring that awakening, Father, in your people, Lord, and to those that don't know you yet, Lord. We say, awaken, awaken our hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring that awakening, Lord, and that harvest of souls, Lord. We praise you, Father, and we thank you, Lord, and we exalt you, Father, in Jesus' name. You are a good God, Lord. And we come, Father God, as one, Lord, to praise you, to exalt you in this place, Father God. I thank you for every intercessor, Father God, that has taken the time to come together in one accord to decree what you are decreeing, to speak your word, to say what is in your heart, Father God. And we love you. Lord, we want to say that we love you, Father God, because you love us first, Lord. We thank you, Father God, because you have put in our, in our belly the desire to bring into the existence your word. Father God, I thank you for your power. I thank you for the power of the word. I thank you for the creation, Father God. Thank you for what you have done and what you have said, Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the 2020 presidential election, Father. We present to you the presidential election, Father, and we say your will be done. 
Let your will be done, Father God. Let your kingdom come, Father, in the name of Yeshua. Lord, we say, Father God, your power, your righteousness prevail. Your righteousness prevail, Father God. We thank you, Father God, because every evil and wicked alignment will break ranks at your power. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we speak righteousness. We speak true lord righteousness and true in the la in the in the in the streets of this nation father god i thank you for every uh youth that you call in father god thank you because you have them in your mind thank you father god because they have not been lost they have father god something in their dna that you call in them father god from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. You calling them to you, O oh Lord. And we come together and we say, come, come in the name of Jesus. Every youth in the, in the name of Jesus come for salvation, come for deliverance, for healing in the name of Jesus. Father God, no more cutting, no more brokenness, no more lies, no more infirmity, no more sin. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over the youths in this nation. We plead the blood of Jesus. We call the fire of God in the name of Jesus over this nation. And we say, Father God, we will see, Father God, the awakening of the youth. We will see the revival. We will see it in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that the economy will be restored. We decree in the name of Jesus restoration in the households, restorations in the school system, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, because COVID is no longer a, a pandemic. COVID is no longer a pandemic. We decree and declare that every person that has been um, um, stricken by this disease is healed by the stripe of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, because you have power. You are more powerful than coronavirus. We believe, Father God, Psalm 91. We speak. We walk under, under that um, covenant, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for Psalm 91. Because it's our portion. It's our portion. And we thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everywhere as she's crying in the dust, face down. Open up, oh, open up, oh, ground beneath me. How long does it take to stone one harlot down? I know the law as well as they do, and I'm guilty, guilty. An adulterer, and I know, I know, oh, will this day never end? How long does it take to stone one harlot down? I am broken, I am wounded, I am wretched and ashamed, and a harlot is like a chain around my neck. It's my name. Father God, I just want to thank you for the Awakening House of Prayer. I want to thank you for the fact that they've remained open throughout everything that's been going on. I want to thank you for what's been going on, for we don't know, but you know how it's going to turn for our good. I just decree and declare Romans 8.28 that whatever the enemy has tried to rob, you will make it and turn it for our good, Jesus. I thank you for that. I thank you for the fact that your mind is greater than ours. And that we can only see the shortness of what's before us, but you have our long term in your mind and in your heart. I thank you for the connection that you have with us, God. That what's on our minds is on your heart. That you know every situation where you need us to move. And before we even ask you, you're moving. That you're doing it, God. I just ask that every person under the sound of my voice, 
may feel your presence, God, that they may hear your voice, God, that they may feel your love for them, God, that they may see the ways that you move in their situation, that they have a joy in them that surpasses all understanding, and it only comes from you, God, that you give them peace in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of what the world says, they know that what you say has more strength, what you say holds more weight, and you have the final word, God. I thank you for the heart of your people, God. I thank you for the fact that they're here interceding on one another's behalf, that they have picked up the mantle of intercession for one another and that they're not only interceding for those they know, but those that don't know you, God. I ask that you just bring them in, God. Bring them in in droves. Just open the floodgates and allow them to come to know you and know your love, God. I pray specifically for the youth, God, the youth that doesn't know you yet, the youth that looks to the things of the world, the things that are temporary to satisfy them, when the only thing that can satisfy them is you, God. The only love that can satisfy the need to be loved is your love, God. The only person that can truly give them peace and joy and the fruits of the Spirit are yours, God. I just ask that they feel you and that they have an encounter with you. I thank you for the fact that coronavirus is temporary, that although it seems like it's surrounding us, it's like a hurricane and it will pass. I thank you for the way that you're going to turn everything that COVID has touched into good that anything that the enemy has come against to rob us from will be paid back seven fold. For your word says that, and you are not a man to lie. The Bible is the most specific legal document there is, and those promises will come to pass, God. I thank you for your authority, Father. I thank you for the fact that you are in every situation, that you know the plans you have for us and the plans are to prosper us and give us hope in a future, that the elections have, pre have been predetermined by you, God. I just ask that everything goes according to your plan, that your will be done, that people do not feel fear regardless of the outcome, for you are almighty. I pray for our economy, Father. I pray for every person who has been affected by COVID-19 in any way, that they just know that, that you will bring things back into order, that you are the ultimate restorer, God, the restorer of our faith, the restorer of our finances, the restorer of relationships, that you can redeem it all, God. For there is no power like yours, God. I just pray for those intercessors who are feeling the weariness, that you may lift up their strength, God, that they may feel that you are moving in every situation that they are praying for, that they keep that present in their minds, God, that they know that their prayer is powerful, God. I thank you for the fact that we get to pray freely, openly, that we get to speak to you, God, about what's on our hearts and what's on our minds. That you have given us authority from you, God, to speak life into a situation where death was once spoken. I thank you for the fact that we don't have to do this, but we get to do this. 
that we get to be in relationship with you, that we get to know you, that we get to intercede on one another's behalf. And I just thank you that your word says that what we do for another person, you will do for us, God. I thank you for every person who has called Awakening House of Prayer home and for every person who will call Awakening House of Prayer home. I thank you that you're bringing in more intercessors and that you're calling people from all different directions to come to know you and to be able to strengthen and unify the church. I thank you for Apostle Jennifer, for Prophet Vanessa, and for the leadership of this house, God. I thank you for all that they've been able to do and for the way that they are connected to you, God, that they have become mouthpieces of your word. I just ask that you continue to bless them and protect them and that you spend an army of angels at their side wherever they may go. So that they, where they may go, they may be received with open arms and with ears that are keen to hear your voice, God. I thank you for what you're doing in this house and in the world through Apostle Jennifer through Awakening House of Prayer hubs, that you're rising intercessors in the nations, God, and that you're unifying us in a time where we've been called to isolation. There's unity, and I thank you for the strength in that unity. I pray against any attack of the enemy on your church, God. I ask that you only meet them with the force that is yours, God. That the weapon may be formed, but it will not prosper against your people, God. I thank you for the, expo the exposure that is happening now in the body of Christ. I thank you for those that have bad intentions being exposed and people's eyes being opened by you, God, to know the truth. I only ask that you rise up too in the place of the one that falls. That every person who has picked up a mantle be directly connected to you, God, and not to the world, to not be able to see those distractions, to not be able to hear those voices that are trying to lead them astray, but that they just follow you, God. I thank you for the redemption that is happening now, the redemption that is happening in our homes, in our lives, in our health, in our families, of time, God, I just ask that you bless that and that you continue to restore and renew us. I pray for provision, God, for every person under the sound of my voice, that all of their needs may be met by you, God, because you are a good father. And before we are hungry, you know that you need to feed us and you do so. I just ask that we hunger and thirst more for you, God. That your Holy Spirit fills us to overflow. So that those around us may be splashed by the overflow of your Spirit, God. 
I pray all of these things in Jesus' mighty and holy name. Amen. They're ready to stone him down. As a congregation of the righteous gather round, they're ready to stone him down. And someone from that frenzied mob shouts out, Let's take her to the teacher. Let's test him and see what he will say in an eruption of agreement. As they take her by her hair, they drag her through the city. 